This MMM module is an interactive module just like DuckShoot, but this time using a distance sensor instead of a sound sensor. It is modeled after the theme park shop called Coconut Shy. It's quite simple. People get by, it activates the triggers and the coconuts fall inside of it. After five shots, it resets itself. This is very similar to Duck Shoot, and I have made some improvements to Duck Shoot because that's what happens when you are developing Lego models. First of all, you can now turn it on without having to remove this panel right here. You just press from the top and you can turn it on. Now you're also able to change the speed or the power of this AUX module. instead of just running at full power all the time. And that update has of course also translated into Duck Shoot. Now let's take a look at the technical details of this module and see how it works. First of all, you can see I've written Coconut Shy in camel case here in the front and put the sensor between the two words. The sensor is adjustable up and down, this time also changing the angle so that I can always aim it at where audience will be coming in front of this module. The trigger is also vibrant, so they can hit all of these five trigger points. So when people go by, it triggers and pushes in. Now you can be lucky and hit more than one coconut at a time, or only one or three at a time. NXT is under this cover. As you can see here, that's how I've made it uh, work with the uh, on button. I have two gadget slots, one on each side, like this. And here you can see I have the box power for the NXT. I can take that away as well. Now let's get into the nitty gritty details of this module. So if I remove the shop, you can see everything is easy to remove. So it's easy to repair the module should it have trouble during an event. I can take this panel off as well. However, it is supporting that part there. So it's not so good to run without that panel. As you can see here, it is two of these clicker mechanisms I have inside of the module. One of them is for the track so that the track does not run in the uh, other direction. I don't want to really see that in an MMM layout. In order to reset, I, you can see I have this uh, elastic loaded mechanism here and it goes up and then goes back. Now it doesn't always jump back because of the clicker mechanism. The clicker mechanism makes sure that we don't overturn when we're driving the other way. That also means that as you can see right now, they don't go fully back and that's why you see the track moves a bit more when it is uh, resetting in order to make sure that these resetting pins here are all the way down. The uh, mechanism for turning down the uh, coconuts is quite simple. I'm using this uh, universal joint in order to have flexibility and then I made it so that these coconuts can lie down or stay up and they st stay in one of these two positions pretty reliably. Sometimes it, the module doesn't quite turn all the way up here and reset them properly, but usually you just have to try two times and then it works. That happens when the clicker mechanism is a bit too slow in engaging down here. There's not that much I can do with that. It's a mechanical feature and it doesn't really bother me this much, but can I find a way to resolve that issue? Then I'll definitely look into it. Now it's difficult to just run on the uh, rotation sensor of this motor because of that issue. That's really it from a mechanical standpoint of how this module is working. Let's just turn it on so that you can see it in action. So I'm turning on the uh, NXT running the default program and here you can see so i'm so i'm trying to be at the right distance and and five there we go and ready again distance sensor is updating a bit slower than the sound sensor which means that sometimes the input is delayed and that can be a bit annoying. However, that is just how this sensor is working. But I'm sure you can perfect how good you are at, at triggering this module. I've also been able to reuse a lot of the uh, learnings I had from Duck Shoot. You can see the trigger mechanism is pretty much the same. And of course, how the uh, NXT is placed is the same. And that made it much easier for me to design and build this module.
I hope you enjoyed this presentation video. If you like this kind of interactive MMM modules, then I have a playlist. It should come up here at the end. I will make more videos in the future, hopefully with new rides and really exciting things. If I get 1000 views, I will make building instructions for this module. That's what I had for you this time. Now, take care, have fun, and I hope to see you in the next video.